In this video clip, we are going to analyze the timing position in a diesel engine. Remember that uh, the timing position in gasoline engines, you need to align the crankshaft, the gear of the crankshaft with the gear of the camshaft. Normally, they are connected with a timing chain or a timing belt. In diesel engines, 98% of the diesel engines, the connection is gear with gear. Gear with gear in between crankshaft and camshaft and uh, in between crankshaft, camshaft and fuel injection pump, the gear, and also with the gear of the oil pump, and also with the gear of the raw water pump in diesel engines, marine engines. Okay, however, in some diesel engines, there are uh, two or three percent of uh, small diesel engines with timing chain. And we need a line exactly the same, the gear of the cram, the gear of the cam, and the gear of the fuel injection pump, especially if the engine is with mechanical fuel injection system. Yeah, in that particular case, if the engine is with mechanical fuel injection system, like this, you remember that alignment, you need to align the gear of the cram, the gear of the cam, and the gear of the fuel injection pump. If the engine is uh, with a direct fuel injection, like this, you don't need to align the fuel injection pump. You can install the fuel inje injection pump in any position, like that picture. Yes, you found that those posters in my web page. Okay, my friends. Now we are going to analyze the timing alignment for uh, a diesel engine with a contact gear with gear and contact with a uh, timing chain. Okay, and uh, why is important the timing alignment? It's important especially when you need to remove the fuel injection pump in order to calibrate the fuel injection pump because of uh, the pressure decrease uh, in some uh, manufacturers, uh, they require each 500 hours, 1,000 hours, remove fuel injection pump and injectors in order to calibrate and clean those elements. Yes, if you need to remove the fuel injection pump, my recommendation is remove the fuel injection pump in mechanical uh, systems uh, with the engine aligned at zero position. Remember to align the engine at zero position, you need to bring the piston number one to top the center and verify if the marks are okay. Yeah. N normally it's with piston number one. Some manufacturers, they use piston number six or other pistons. Normally it's with piston number one. For that reason, always, always, always use the service manual and follow the recommendation of the service manual. In this particular example, uh, we are going to check the timing alignment in a small diesel engine uh, with a contact gear with gear, like this. In this particular case, we are going to analyze a diesel engine, typical diesel engine, well, with the, the marks on the gears. And uh, the movement of the gears is contact gear with gear. And this one in the bottom is the gear of the crankshaft. This is the gear of the camshaft. This is the gear of the fuel injection pump. And this is the idle gear or free gear or crazy gear. In the bottom here, we have uh, two additional gears for oil pump and raw water pump. Those elements could be installed at any position because they don't require the alignment with the timing. Now we are going to analyze the timing marks. Now we are going to check the timing marks exactly. Those are the timing marks. This one is the dot on the gear of the crankshaft and those are the dots on the, on the free gear or idle gear. Those, those marks should be aligned this one in between this and this. This is for crankshaft, and those are the marks for a, a fuel injection pump. You see, this one is in between this and this, and exactly the same, exactly the same with the camshaft. This one in between this and this. This is a typical demonstration that the engine is properly aligned, and you can verify that. You can verify that if you introduce a screwdriver on the hole where the injector number one is located, and you verify that the piston is on top the center. Correct? This is a perfect indication that uh, the engine is on time, and now this is the moment to remove the fuel injection pump and uh, send the fuel injection pump. Those are the gear for uh, oil pump and raw water pump. They don't require the alignment. You like it? Great explanation. And now we are going to analyze another four Lehman 
uh, that uh, I removed some years ago from a sailboat. And uh, in that engine, uh, the contact is with timing chain. In this particular case, we are going to analyze the timing position for a diesel engine, a small diesel engine. In this particular case, it's a Ford Lehman. Uh, I removed that engine from a sailboat some years ago. Uh, this is an, an engine, diesel engine with timing chain. In this particular case, the harmonic balancer, the pulley on the harmonic balancer, the marks are, are aligned with the mark with the band on the timing cover. And uh, okay, we are going to remove the harmonic balancer, the pulley on the harmonic balancer. I bring this engine to top the center piston number one uh, at the end of the compression. Be careful because you can bring the piston number one two times, no? At the end of the compression and at the end of exhaust. In this particular case, I need at the end of the compression. How can I verify that? With the ro uh, rocker arms should be uh, free. Now, the piston number one is in top the center at the end of compression. I check the condition of the seal, that the front seal that normally is leaking, and uh, the hub is in good condition, All right? And be careful with the bolt. This is a special bolt. The thread is a special fine thread. In normally, I put them back the bolt over there because uh, with the socket, I, I turn the crankshaft to move the crankshaft and bring the piston number one to top the center. Okay. And now we are going to remove the timing cover. Okay, that's the timing cover. Exactly. This one is the coolant pump. In this particular case, the timing cover includes the housing for the coolant pump. And the coolant pump enter here, and, and this is the input of coolant, and normally the sensor is located here. That the input of coolant, and this is the impeller of the coolant pump. Okay, the coolant pump. All right, that's the impeller of the coolant pump. And now we are going to analyze the timing position. Okay, this is the gear of the of the fuel injection pump. This is the gear or the sprocket for uh, the crankshaft, and this one for the camshaft. And uh, in this moment, the engine is uh, with the piston number one in top dead center, and we are going to analyze the marks. All right, look at the marks. We are going to start in this moment. Look at the mark. This is the mark of uh, the the sprocket, the gear of uh, the fuel injection pump is aligned. It's aligned here according with the manual. It's aligned here for fuel injection pump. This is the alignment for fuel injection pump. And this is the alignment, the mark of alignment in between the crankshaft and the camshaft. That's the gear of the camshaft. And this is the alignment. Okay, exactly. Camshaft and crankshaft properly aligned and fuel injection pump aligned. This is the indication that the engine is at zero with the piston number one at top the center. And now, because it's at zero, the fuel injection pump is completely aligned. Exactly. You see the marks? The marks on the case of the fuel injection pumps are aligned with the mark on the case of the engine. Those marks are aligned at zero position. Yeah, normally those engines, they are at a six degrees before top the center. We need to move it six degrees before. They have another small mark here. But uh, in this moment, it's at zero because the engine is at zero position. This is a perfect indication, and this is the procedure. Now you can remove the fuel injection pump easily and send to the machine shop. This is the process to verify the alignment. Yes, my friend. Now the engine is ready to remove the fuel injection pump, send the fuel injection pump to the matching shop in order to calibrate the fuel injection pump or replace the fuel injection pump for a new one. This is the procedure to align the system at top the center at zero position.